So this video we're going to talk about some stuff that's a little bit more fun. I'm going to go double click on a template and I'm going to be drawing in inches. Okay, so when we talk about a sketch line or a sketch plane, we have to figure out how to draw in SolidWorks. Um, and, and actually most parametric programs rely on this kind of format. So for this example, I'm going to hover over the front view, left click, and up comes this little dialog box. And I want to select the, the sketch icon. All right. Once you select that sketch icon, you have this little double icon over here that basically says you are in fact in sketch mode. So let's draw our first uh, geometry, piece of geometry. Over here, um, there's a number of different rectangles. The one that I've uh, I've liked for um, the last two releases is this center rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to start with that. Um, this here is the origin of this particular sketch plane. Uh, actually, let's hit Escape. I want to show you something else here. Um, let's uh, let's close this out and select front again select sketch okay because I wanted to show you this particular bounding box this here is um, just reference geometry it basically says uh, this is this is the view you're on this is the this is the chalkboard this is the surface this is the perpendicularity of your sketch plane um, you don't hook to it you don't you don't um, a actually you know what let me take that back um, and we'll discuss that in some later videos but you can see it's in all of them and it's just a real quick reference to say alright I need a sketch plane where are they and although we have no geometry in this one once we start getting into assemblies and different items like that we're going to love that blue box but for the meantime, let's uh, let's just go normal two. That brings us back to uh, perpendicular, and we're going to select this center rectangle. We're going to use the origin as our base point, and now we can select dimension, type it in, single select with your left mouse button and we'll call that 9. These dashed lines here represent reference geometry. Okay, those are, uh, they call them center lines. Okay, and here's the difference. If, for example, I wanted to locate a hole here, um, you know, there's a whole slew of ways to do it, uh, but just for this example, um, once I identify this particular point, I can single select on this guy and say make construction. Single select, make construction, so that way once we create a feature, let's extrude it. Um, as you can see, all these reference lines or center lines they're just reference. That's what they are. The black solid lines indicate what we've created for geometry. All right, let's uh, let's go to our next uh, next video. I'll see you there.